So we'll talk about X-ray spectra. The spectrum from an X-ray tube contains a two distinct parts. The one is continuous X-ray spectra and the other one is characteristic X-ray spectra. This is your continuous and this one is characteristic X-ray spectra. You are able to see the continuous spectra, you are able to see there is no major variation. Over here you got your characteristic spectra. If you talk about continuous spectra, you are able to see the spectra here. So this is the wavelength of your visible light. Here it's ultraviolet, soft X-rays, it's hard X-rays and it's gamma ray. So this zone they are used for airport security to identify the thieves. And this area is used for medical CET and this area is used for your mammography and this area is used for X-ray crystallography. Continuous X-ray spectra consists of radiation of all possible wavelength from a certain low limit to higher values continuously as in the case of visible light. X-rays are produced when high velocity electrons strike the target material of high atomic number. It has also been mentioned in the production of X-rays that most of the energy of the electrons goes into the heating of the target material. A few fast moving electrons penetrate into the interior of the atoms of the target material and are attracted towards the nuclei by the attractive force of the nuclei. Due to this force, the electrons get deflected from their original path. As a result of this, the electrons are decelerated and hence the energy of the electron decreases continuously. This loss of energy during retardation is given off in the form of X-rays and it's of varying wavelengths. That's how your X-ray spectra is formed. It's your continuous X-ray spectra. The X-rays consist of continuous range of frequencies up to a maximum frequency Vmax or a minimum wavelength lambda minimum and this is called as continuous X-rays. The minimum wavelength depends on the anode voltage. If V is the potential difference between anode and cathode, Ev is equal to H nu max which is equal to Hc divided by lambda minimum which indicate V equal to C by lambda. The minimum wavelength of the given radiation is lambda minimum is equal to Hc divided by Ev where H is the Planck's constant, C is the velocity of light and E is the charge of electron. Substituting the known value of in the above equation we got lambda minimum is equal to 6.626 into 10 power minus 34 into 3 into 10 power h divided by 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 into v which is equal to 12400 divided by v angstrom